Celtic versus Rangers. Hate fuels their fiery clashes, leaving scars on Scottish football. Here are the five most controversial moments in Old Firm history. At number five, it's the shame game of 1987. Referee Jim Duncan gave three players their marching orders as the teams literally fought out a draw at Ibrox. Celtic's Frank McAvenny was the first to go, quickly followed by Rangers goalie Chris Woods after a fight involving the duo and Ibrox defenders, Terry Butcher and Graeme Roberts. To make matters worse, the quartet were all hauled up in court on breach of the peace charges. Number four is the Holy Goalies provocation from 2008. One of the most controversial stars to grace the game, Arthur Boric, was never one to hide from the limelight, especially on Old Firm Day. After Celtic clinched a nail-biting derby win, Boric sent Hoops fans into a frenzy and Rangers supporters into a fury by unveiling a t-shirt at full time reading, God bless the Pope, with a picture of the late Polish Pope, John Paul II. The holy goalie escaped punishment by football bosses, but saw the incident raised in Parliament. At number three, it's the Lennon and McCoist touchline brawl from 2011. Neil Lennon and Ali McCoist had to be pulled apart after this old firm clash ended in mayhem. Rangers trio El Hajj Juf, Stephen Whitaker, and Majid Bouguera were also sent off in a crazy Scottish Cup replay. Hoops boss Lennon was given a four-game ban, while Ibrox assistant boss McCoist successfully appealed against his two-match suspension. Number two is the coin incident from 1999. Rangers went into this league game knowing a win would clinch them the title at the home of their biggest rivals. The stormy encounter saw Celtic reduced to nine men and referee Hugh Dallas struck on the head by a coin thrown from the crowd. Another Hoops fan attempted to attack the official after invading the pitch, but he was restrained by stewards and policemen as Rangers eventually clinched the championship at Parkhead. And number one is the final insult in 2012. This was to be the final Old Firm derby before Rangers went bust in July 2012. Celtic fans made sure their bitter rivals received a memorable send-off with a host of displays mocking their demise. Months later, Rangers were forced to start again at the bottom of Scottish football after entering liquidation. This match was the culmination of years of financial mismanagement and rivalry, forever changing the landscape of Scottish football and marking a significant moment in the history of the old firm derby.